Hey guys, this is Devin here with Hillbilly Networks again. Today I am going to show you how to use the tool called Putty. And that's P-U-T-T-Y. I'm going to also put a link in my video for where you can download that as well as a link um, for a USB to serial cable that I'm using in this case. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up the Putty tool. And we have three options here. SSH, which is Secure Shell, we have Serial, and then we have Telnet. Today we're going to do Serial. And up above we have two options on top of that. We have Serial Line and Speed. The Serial Line is basically the communication port we're going to be using. That's the port that your USB cable is plugged into. Um, in order to figure that out, we're going to go over to Device Manager, as you'll see here on the left side. In order to get to Device Manager, you'll just hit the Start bar in Windows and you'll type in Device Space Manager. And that will actually bring that up because that's a Windows program. And you'll see here a list of many different things such as the cards in your computer, the monitors, um, any peripheral devices. But we're going to focus on the Ports option. And under the Ports option, you'll see USB to Serial Cable, COM7. So now we know we're using COM port 7. So we're now going to take off that 1, change it to a 7. At this point we have the serial line or the port set properly. Now we need to set our speed. In this case I know that my speed needs to be 38,400. You will need to look up the device you're working with and figure out what the baud rate or the speed is. That's B-A-U-D. That's the communication speed between you and the device that the device desires to be able to communicate properly across a console connection. Because um, this is also referred to as a console connection in many cases. You'll actually see that on the port of the device. It'll usually say console. So when you hear putty, console, a lot of times that's uh, going hand in hand. Okay, when you open up this window you're going to see, when you hit open the session, you're going to see that it's a black screen. So you're going to have to click on the window and hit enter first and then it's going to ask you to log in. As you can see here, we successfully logged in because we had the credentials. And that's all you do to be able to do a putty session. But, real quick, I'm going to go over a couple more things on here. A couple of functions you can do within the putty session. Basically just kind of a crash course on figuring out what kind of functions you have. In order to do that, in this specific one, the language calls for the CLI language is in the command line interface language calls for us to type in a question mark and in this case you're going to have to hit shift question mark you won't actually have to hit the enter key in this case because um, as soon as you hit shift question mark on this device or these types of devices it will immediately pop up this list of options so now we know we can type in any of these things and we will get more options most likely or it will perform an op uh, function right away. The one I'm going to focus on here is on switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in switch and then space question mark. That is going to return the different options for the switch function in the CLI. Now you can see here I have about four or five different options. The first one there named list is going to show me another option after that first. So I'm going to type in switch space list space question mark again. Uh, if you type in enter and you don't hit question mark and there happens to be a farther requirement such as you typing in another word like port, it's going to give return back what it originally showed there. And now, since it's typed in properly, we're going to see a list of all the different ports that are available. It's going to show us the status of those. And I'll go over that in a later video, but today, this is what I'm covering, basically. I'm just covering a putty session and some basic commands. If you guys have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments, and please like and follow. Thank you.